Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Yesterday, I didn't have much to tell you. Today, I think I can tell you a little bit of stuff that went on here. This morning, I got up early because I was supposed to go to the gym. I had to be there for 8 o'clock. And what the reason I went today was he wanted to show me how to use different pieces of equipment. And I'm using a lot of the ones with the hydraulics. So when you're, you're working the front of your muscles, you're also working the back of your muscles. And he made the comment that most girls are stronger with their legs, whereas I'm stronger with my arms. And I believe it's from all the work that I've done prior to now. Now I don't do anything that's work related, really. But um, he did make that comment because um, I, he had to set all of the arm things on the highest setting for me. And the leg things he set on, a, on the second highest because my legs aren't quite as high, quite as strong. And um, now I've got to go back on Wednesday and Friday because he's going to show me how to use some of the other machines. And then I plan to go Tuesday and Thursday for the aerobics class. And I said to him, oh my goodness, I might as well have a full-time job. And he goes, it is, but it's taking care of you instead of me working for somebody else. So I will do this till the snow flies. And when the snow flies, then I'll decide whether I want to go out of the house or not. Because, you know, it's not so much fun to go out when it's cold out and snowy. I could always wait till the roads are clear and then go and come in as long as it's in the daylight and the roads are nice, then maybe I'll go, maybe not. I don't know what I'll do. We'll have to wait and see what I do when I get there. The chickens were all out this morning and they were just out just a few minutes ago. I was looking at them and they were all outside, all four, I have 14. And the one that I think is a rooster, I go back and forth and my husband kind of laughs because one day it's a rooster, one day it's a chicken. Another day it's a rooster, then it's a chicken. I don't know what this bird is. I have to wait until spring to find out because it'll take it at least that long before it starts to, to either lay eggs or crow. Today, we also got our phone bill. Now, our phone bills keep going up and up and up and up, and most people have cell phones. And this is a landline. You would think that the landline companies would give you a break on your telephone, but they don't. Instead, they keep charging you more. There's less people that have a landline, and, there's, and they're charging you more. So today, Jim was doing some digging. He's, he was digging up where the phone line is because I think, I'm not sure, but I think we're going to contact the cable company to get the internet because I think they have a better um, upload and download. They have both. It's supposed to be better. And we'll check $15 into the... dollars plus tax. How much? 15 plus taxes. 15 plus taxes for what? The, for the internet. The internet? Whoa, and we're paying way more than that right now. We're paying over $40 a we're month We're paying 50 yeah. Well, a for lot. The internet, but it's for a tenth of what <sighs> we don't even uh, get. We can't. Gets. Our upload is terrible, and our download is terrible. So he's going to check into that, and we may not have a landline much longer. We've almost had one for forty years, but they. Um, I called my brother, and you can keep your same telephone number, which is important to me because. After having this number for almost 40 years, you don't want to change it now. Then I would have to call everybody up and say, this is my new number, you know, and that would be a pain. That'd be, that'd be just like if you were moving. You have to tell everybody your new address and change everything over. I don't want to have to do that. I like to just keep everything as it is as far as numbers go. Plus, I don't do well with numbers. I would probably not know my phone number. I would have to learn it again like you do in first grade. The kids all have to, or kindergarten, kindergarten actually, mm -hmm. they have to learn their phone number. And kids today, I don't know how they learn their phone numbers because sometimes the parents have a cell phone and they have this number and then they, they lose that, um, whatever it is that they lose, and they have to switch to a different phone number. I don't know how these kids can keep up with their phone numbers because ours always stayed the same. And we, we had, um, when our phone number changed, it went from 
OS2 to 679, which was, oh, was really, and it did it when I was in like middle school, I think. And it was because everybody had party lines and we had a party line, but everybody got a private line and we still had a party line. And the phone company decided that we shouldn't be paying a party line price with a private line line. So they, they switched it out and then we ended up with a different telephone number, a different phone, a different everything, which made it confusing. Then somebody decided they didn't like the street name of our street because it was confusing with our um, Route 5, they used to call Route 5 Lake Road. Well, they changed my road from which was Lake Road to its old name, which I never knew it to be that name. It was ended up as North Road, which is crazy because they said it too many people confused Lake Road with Lake Road Route 5. No, I don't know. I didn't think people did that, but you never know. So we ended up having to have a new address and we didn't move, new telephone number and we didn't move. That was crazy. Well, let's go out and see the ditch that Jim dug. All right, let's go see. Okay, here's where the ditch is. This he hand dug and the reason he had to hand dug it is, do you see this pipe down here? There's a string tied to that rock and that rock has a little with string I already said that and what they're going to do is pull the a rope through so that they can bring the cable all the way to the pole which I'm walking to the pole and then this way the the um, cable line will go into this somewhere up on this pole because we don't want any wires on our house Oh, it's cold outside. I'm, the sun has gone down and I'm freezing. So we're going to go back in. So this is what he's done. And it goes, this pipe goes underneath the driveway. And then underneath the porch, which you can't see. And we're going back in. Oh, I'm going up the little ramp. Oh, open the door, please. Thank you. So that's what we're doing. I'm back. Um, it's cold outside. My goodness. I, this morning it was 50 something. I was what today I was watching Maria um, on the Latino keto lifestyle and she was talking about how cold it was. Hers was in Celsius and I think she said it was 13 degrees Celsius, which would make it about the same temperature that we had here about 58, 50 something, 56, somewhere in there, which was very chilly. And then she was talking about how the cold seems to affect her more. And um, I was reading about menopause, that if you're in menopause, the cold will affect you more. And I notice the cold a lot and age will also do it. So when you get old and, have, and you're in menopause and it's cold, you're gonna be freezing. And I'm freezing all the time. In fact, I was cold today. I, I just took my sweater off to do this video and then when I'm done, I'm gonna put it right back on. So I will talk to you all when I'm warmer, <laughs> like maybe tomorrow. So you have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. So bye-bye.